myths are around the global warming. Let me start with a short video. In the beginning there was light, pure energy, as no matter existed. The energy was so intensive that matter could not arise as it would immediately evaporate, due to the prevailing heat. The main scientific dogma states, the indestructibility of energy. So, something else had to happen, that would lower, the enormous temperature, without destroying the energy that existed. This is how, the process of expanding, of the universe, began. While the universe grows in size, the energy spreads over an increasing area, and less of it, is observed locally. At a certain moment of the history, the level of energy has dropped enough for the effects of gravity became noticeable. Gravity is an extremely weak force, only when the world cooled down, we could see and feel its effects. That is how the first generation of stars was formed. The stars were very close to each other, all of them located near the center of the universe. The details behind the functioning of the stars, I will cover in the next episode of this series. When the life of the first generation of stars ended, they disintegrated, usually in spectacular explosions, and in their place, a second generation of stars emerged. They were much more distant from each other, forming local clusters called galaxies, that continued to drift apart. Many stars in the sky that we observe are not actual, individual stars, but entire galaxies, seen from great distance, and thus merging, into one glowing and blinking point. Now, it is the third generation of stars. They have trapped enormous amounts of energy in their matter. In contrast, planets do not matter, for our solar system 99, 8% of mass is located in the Sun. The change of energy into matter, along with the enormous enlargement of the cosmos, caused the energy to almost completely disappear. We are on the verge, of an absolute, freeze of the universe. The temperature has dropped, from almost infinitely high, to almost null. Currently, there are only two degrees, above the point of a complete freezing of the universe. Why is the entire cosmos freezing, and our planet is warming up? This is covered on another episode, where I point out the real causes of global warming, in which the impact of CO2, is only a minor element. Now, a short statement. Pollution of the atmosphere is shameful, as it is the unlimited emission of CO2. However, it is merely on the aesthetic levels, and such considerations should dominate, the discussion of carbon dioxide and the atmosphere. Nobody wants to live, in a smelly room. That should be the main grounds on the challenge, to keep the air we breathe, pleasantly pure, and fresh. On the other hand, hiding behind artificially created arguments, only trivializes this important matter. Most of the arguments in the discussion, are false, or lead to opposite conclusions. That discourages masses, from taking seriously care, for keeping of the atmosphere clean. While it is a very thin layer, just 0,1% of the Earth's size, we literally smell, other people's farts. While aesthetic considerations are unnoticed, many false arguments have been created, which I will try to demystify. And today, I am talking about one myth of global warming, which says that, we will burn the world. On a graphic example, I will now present the thermal dynamics, of the universe, as it is known to the science. As we go back in time, the cosmos heats up. The further we reach, the warmer it gets. Everything melts. Compounds break down, electrons break away from the atomic nuclei. Up to a point when the temperature becomes so high, that even the atoms themselves evaporate. At that moment, 
There is a sharp rise in temperature, referred to as inflation, although hyperinflation would be more representative here. In a world devoid of matter, the rise in temperature begins to lose its meaningful limits, and is almost unimaginable. There is a limit however, and it is very surprising. In the first second of its existence, the universe was so hot, that the physics itself, dissolved. When I was talking to a famous physicist, who has been studying the first second of the life of the cosmos for decades, it turns out that each of the physical theories, we concurrently imagine, fails in such extreme conditions of density and temperature, and physics as we know it could not exist. Thus, it is the boundary of the knowable world, just as the boundary is the realm of the visible cosmos. What is outside cannot be scientifically verified, so talking about that would be not distinguishable from telling fiction, thus I skip it. However, going back in time, we know 14 billion years of cosmos history, and we can reasonably predict many years to come. There is a number of evidence, supporting these calculations. And the fate of an empty and cold universe, seems inevitable. It is obvious now, that the warming is temporary, even momentary in cosmic stretch of time. People have always been afraid of the cold and the dark. It seems understandable, knowing the fate that awaits us. Moreover, there is no scientist denying so-called the arrow of time. The direction of change in the universe cannot be reversed. Thus, nothing can prevent the world from freezing. It is surprising that a group of panicking, phobic individuals have succeeded in inverting the complete context of the thermal evolution in addition to implanting into the whole of society the anxiety and fear of heat one of the most obvious arguments supporting the observation of the gradual freezing of the universe although always visible to everyone turned out to be understandable only a hundred years ago back then then the researchers tried to meaningfully answer the question why the cosmos, filled with countless stars, is dark. When you watch the candles move apart, in the background video, it is easy to imagine, why it is getting colder, and darker. Despite each star being hot and full of energy, the amount of space that it has to cover, expands. In the next episode, I will explain why, although everything freezes, we can observe the effect of heating up of the earth. <laughs>